What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to upholster the front seats of your Volkswagen. So when you finally hit this magical point of upholstering your seats, it's a great time because it means your project's probably almost done. I've always paid restoration shops lots of money to actually just throw on the seat pad in the vinyl or leather, and that's a big waste of money. I didn't realize how easy this was, so I decided I need to make a video on how to actually do this. I've already finished the back bench seat and the front seat, so let's get into it and I'm going to show you how to actually upholster your front seat. So we're going to start on the bottom of the seat working on these little tabs. Uh, these tabs are used to actually hold the vinyl or cloth down over the spring assembly. Um, so we're going to just spin it around, go through each tab, make sure they're straight, make sure that they have enough room for the vinyl to go underneath. Also make sure that there's no leftover over old cloth. Keep in mind that these get pretty rusty, so some might break, uh, like a couple of mine already have. So what we're gonna do is grind these down and then actually drill a little hole so we can have a self-tapping screw be able to go in and that will hold the vinyl down. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Okay, now that we have all the tabs adjusted and the holes drilled where they need to be for the broken tabs, we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the channels. Uh, since the car is unupholstered right now, it's just good to hit these with a wire wheel so get rid of all the gunk inside of these channels, making the seat go on easier. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're on to the last step of preparation for this bottom frame. Um, and that's just gonna be, I'm gonna sand it all down and throw some paint on it. A uh, little, little trick I've learned because I was constantly getting orange peeled looking paint. Hit it with some tack cloth, I love this stuff. After you're done sanding, just rub it down with this tack cloth and then shoot it with paint. And then you don't get that orange peely, it gets rid of all the chemicals, anything like that. Um, so let's go ahead and get this all sanded, prepped, and then we're gonna start working on the, the backrest. Okay, so on to the backrest. So backrest looks pretty good. Um, you know, it's got its springs and everything, no broken welds, except for it's missing a pretty crucial part, which is a bar that goes across right here. And that bar has a little split in it because this is a kind of late 50s, early 60s model seat. So I have to go ahead and weld in a bar right here to fix this. Then I'm just gonna sand it down and paint it like I just did to the bottom half. So let me get to that. really pleased how this turned out I just you know I'm not, I'm not the best welder or whatever but that's what working on cars is all about learning and having fun so I I uh you know welded in this pipe cut a little slit so what's gonna happen is the cloth is gonna come up over this area and then come up underneath and then it all gets locked down into this channel that I cut in so cut it in sanded it down it looks like it's gonna work so I'm pretty happy and optimistic so I'm gonna go ahead and sand this, paint this, uh, then we're gonna go put on the burlap, followed by the cushions, and then the vinyl, and then we're done. All right, seat frame is all nice and painted. It's gonna look good when it's sitting in the car. Now it's time to put on the burlap, just cut it, trim it, hogging it down. And uh, you don't have to use burlap, but it came in this my kit for like eight bucks. So cheapest thing. And the whole reason to throw this burlap on is just so the springs aren't gonna melt through your foam. In a few years, if you don't put this on, your, your foam ends up getting really deteriorated and stuff. So let's go ahead and start putting this burlap on. All right, burlap is on. So now we're just going to put the foam on top and then start working on the vinyl. All right, so when dealing with the vinyl, the first thing you want to do, you want to put the front end on, and then when you start working towards the back, you're going to pull this, and then you're going to pull it over the foam here. So you want this corner up, and then you are going to stretch everything this way, 
or stretch everything towards the rear of the seat. Then you're gonna grab the edge and then pull over the back. It's all about just getting this tight, getting the vinyl. Don't be scared to stick your hand up and adjust the foam as you're working on things. And let's get this vinyl down. to actually pulling the vinyl up and over these hooks. To me, this is the funnest part. So, so inside of the vinyl, there's actually a little string that comes through this top channel right here. You wanna make sure that string is past these hooks. Um, I start with just the front, make sure it's all tucked away from the springs. I start by pulling the front. Then I'll pull the back and then I'll pull all the sides up and then where I have the holes I drilled for the screws, I'll do those ones last and just pull, pull the vinyl even with where it is everywhere else and then tap that screw in there. Alright, once you have all the vinyl in the tabs here, you can go about and tap down these little tabs here. All we have left now is we have to tighten up this string to uh, the frame and then the bottom half's done. Then we'll work on the top half. Okay, so the back is really simple. It's the same burlap, then your pad, uh, then it's just a, the vinyl slip. When you slip it down, make sure that you're going pretty evenly, that your edges are along the lines of the edges, how they should be. Also, don't be scared to get your hand up here. Make sure that that foam didn't slip and just keep pulling it. All right, the cover is pulled down as much as it can go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the, the plastic bottom parts into the little pole right here. I start with the bottom because it's a little thicker and it's the harder one to get in. And then I go to the top. There we go, backrest is all done. Now let's just attach it to the bottom and we should be all complete. Alright everybody, that was how you upholster a seat. I hope this video helped you out. Go ahead and throw that seat back in your car. I'm gonna actually make a little video on how to reinstall a seat. But that was it. I hope you enjoyed. If this video helped you out, I'd appreciate you subscribing to my channel. I make lots of these videos and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Bye.